What is good with y'all, man? So I picked up the brand new Vince Young last night after we finished up Weekend League. Um, I just want to try him out tonight. You know, we're done Weekend League. We're playing Seasons. We might as well. You know, he gets Eagles cam. He's an Eagle. Let's go ahead and try him out. Uh, we'll get a game plan with him tomorrow. Um, and as you can see, he doesn't really look terrible stats-wise. We'll, do, we'll look at the stats, but the one thing I know that is probably going to be a problem with this card is his release. I used his card in the beginning of the year now. I know he didn't have any throwing abilities, but there's two problems with that card. One, his release is probably one of the worst releases I used ever. And two, the card didn't even throw a spiral. He didn't throw a tight ball. It was just, it was disgusting. And I mean, I used Jalen Hurts for those throwing abilities, like, you know, when he first came out and he threw a good ball, tight spiral. So obviously the ball didn't come out as quick. So that's what I'm kind of comparing that at. Like I could just fully, full on expect this release to be terrible. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at his stats, though. I, I didn't even have to pay that much for him either, by the way. I think uh, his card was like, I want to say about 170 to 180,000, so it's pretty cheap. Uh, and I'm going to sell him afterwards, go right back to Jalen Hurst. But like I said, I just want to try him out. Let's go ahead and look at his stats, though. Look at his abilities and all that. Uh, he's six foot five, 232 pounds, which that does make a difference. Having a tall quarterback in there, trust me, that does help. Uh, he's 95 speed. 96 throw power, 92 short, 91 medium, 92 deep, 93 throw under pressure, 96 on the run, and a 93 play action. He's got 84 strength, 96 excel, uh, 74 carrying. Hopefully that's not a problem. If you know, like getting sacked in the pocket and just stuff like that. Uh, he has 70 trucking, 91 change of direction, 78 stiff arm, 85 spin, 89 juke. Uh, he has 82 break tackle, so stat-wise, he really doesn't look terrible. I mean, uh, it's just I know his release isn't going to be very good. Um, the abilities that I'm going to be rocking on him tonight, I'm going to be rocking Gunslinger and Long Range Deadeye. Basically, the way I actually rock Jalen Hurts now is I literally just use Gunslinger on him. You know, he's, he's almost like a pocket quarterback now because, I mean, with the AP change, I can't rock a skate artist and gunslinger because eats too much ap and i need to have two tight end apprentices out there because i'm back to running my two tight end offense uh so i'm actually using keith jackson and charlie and keith jackson gameplay is coming later uh so it's like i i need unless i had high route master would save me ap but I, I, even that i still wouldn't be able to have um escape bars so i can't really use escape anymore i have and i need slinger i tried using escape and pass the elite and the problem with that was since the ball comes out a little bit slower with pass lead elite, the problem is that almost every single throw is a throw under pressure. And because of that, the quarterback is missing almost every throw. And it's just, it's almost unusable pretty much at this point of the game. So I feel like Gunslinger is pretty much like a must right now. So um, I'm going to be rocking Gunslinger, which is actually a little bit cheaper on Vince Young. It's 6 AP for Jalen Hurst. It's 7 AP because he's a scrambler. So it saves you a little bit of AP, I guess, if you want to. Um, and I had one AP left over, so I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw long range dead eye on. It's only one AP. Uh, if we were to take a look at his abilities, he gets threat detector for two AP, long range dead eye, one AP. He gets red zone dead eye for one AP. Sleight of hand, one AP. He gets fearless, which is three AP. Uh, could be a. Uh, if you want to rock past the. I say this if you rock past the leap, I would probably say put fearless on if you're going to use that because you're, you're going to need it. Uh, fast break is 3 AP. He gets escape artist for 5 AP. Uh, no look dead eye, which is 1 AP. I don't think I've seen anyone use his ability this year. I don't really know if this is any good. Uh, he, he gets playmaker for 7 AP, which I mean, I know that ability was, uh, good last year. Uh, but for the quarterback, it just costs so much. Slinger is the 6 AP. Uh, then a fire 2 AP. He gets dashing dead eye for 2 AP. Roaming Dead Eye 2 AP and Pass Lead Elite, which is 3 AP. So if you rock Pass Lead Elite and Fearless, it'd be 6 AP total, which is basically what you're paying for Gunslinger. So in a nutshell, you might as well just use Gunslinger. You know what I mean? So, because you're literally going to need Fearless with that. I mean, I feel like every throw is a throw under pressure with Pass Lead Elite and um, Escape. I don't know. Some of you guys could do it, but I can't. I feel like I'm a quarterback to miss every wide open throws with that, so... I don't know, and especially with Vince Young, who already has a terrible release, I think I'm most likely going to have to use Gunsling. If you're using a quarterback with a decent release, like maybe like a Dan Marino or someone like that, you know, you'll probably be fine, but this guy right here is not a good release, so 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a game plan with him tomorrow, though. But if you want to see him live in action, go ahead and drop a ball to the Twitch. Uh, we'll be going live around, I'm not really too sure. Sometime later tonight, we'll be running up with him. Uh, should be should be fun. Uh, well, we'll see about that. But that's pretty much going to do it, though, boys. Like, comment, subscribe, man. And your boy is out.